Webb Simpson, then and now on Tour Swing Tuesday. So on the left, we have Webb Simpson from 2013. Over on the right, 2022. In nine years, how has his swing changed? We're going to take a look at that on this flyby series. Okay, let's take a look on the left there first. And I would say he's a little more tilted, right, from the hips. Um, and you see on the right, a little bit more of his left arm. So shoulders a little more square. Uh, otherwise, I'd say maybe just the only other difference I see, a little more upright on the right. Okay, with the setup, taking it back. This is going to be a difference here. Why, this is really interesting to see how players uh, over the years change their swings. And this is quite a difference in the years. So when he takes it back here on the left, you're going to go see him go a little onto the shaft line plane. And the face angle is going to be kind of parallel to his spine angle. We, we look at that as a sort of barometer position. Now watch on the right, you're going to see him get a quite a bit of opening with the face. This is the most opening I see on tour, actually, and I've done probably almost 100 of these videos. I think that's the most open position I've seen uh, as I've done these videos. And so if you talk about parallel to, to his uh, spine angle, that's well open, almost like a Ray Floyd opening. Not my favorite move, and I'll show you why that maybe isn't as effective overall. Now remember, on the left, he'd won the 2012 um, U.S. Open right uh, right after, right before this, so really swinging well. Interlock grip, take him to the top, and he got pretty good club face position there, maybe, you know, almost a 45-degree angle. On the right, as you can imagine, because he had that opening, and he always had, a, you know, very much an around swing, when he gets to the top of his swing over here on the right, whoop, little jog there backwards, but he's going to get the club, you know, now nicely down the target line, but you're going to see he's a little more upright on the right, and his club face is quite open. Right, so that toe hanging down, we'll get it right there between the hedges. You can see it. And so uh, more upright. So this is more fade bias on the right. And now you'll see even more so. So on the left side, he's going to drop that down pretty much on the original shaft line plane. And he's going to get the club on the hand line. Okay? And that's good. Over here, though, he's going to get it. Now he's going to have to have a lot of a rotation of the face, folks. Remember, when you open it up like that, you're going to have to get a lot of closing. And over here, when it's club parallel to the ground here, you can see the club outside the hands and relatively open. So you're going to have to have a lot of kind of rotation with your forearms in your body. Okay, let's take him into impact. Now we go right first. You're going to see, um, you know, similar position. But if I had to say one thing here, he looks a little more out of his tilt, right? So his backside's pulled away from that side. Maybe not. Maybe a little bit of straightening up here. Now remember, his ball striking's off a little bit. He's actually like 140th in greens regulation this year. So he might want to go back and look at this 2013 swing because he was just ripping it, playing great golf. Um, a little off this year, so maybe he'll see this. And it could, you know, you see your old swing sometimes. It's a great way to go back and look. Hey, what was I swinging like when I was really going good? This is a great lesson in that. So you see that form rotation. See the face really turn over right there, right? And gosh, almost to the ground. I do this for my folks that want to draw the ball. That's a great image right over left if you want to draw it. So that is Webb Simpson. And uh, that's a kind of a fun study just to see in nine years how his swing has changed pretty significantly. And I hope he gets his game back here uh, sooner than later because he's just a fabulous guy and a fabulous player over time. So thanks for being with us. Any information, Gary Bates Golf Academy. Hey, subscribe, join the community, and check out our other videos. They're a lot of fun and think you can learn from them. Okay, take care and bye for now.